we just started talking about the TBS years of Conan. And so we thought, who better than to help us with that transition than the man who played Ted Turner on so many <laughs> Conan sketches? Oh, yeah. That was a fun experience. You forgot you played the character. We just re- <laughs> I feel like we just reminded you. Oh, yeah, yeah, yeah. Ted Turner. I think I feel like the first time I did it was one of the first shows, right? It was, it was, I think, the first week. I think so. Pretty early on. Yes. I found out. I talked to Matt O'Brien, who created, you know, the Ted Turner character with you. Oh, yeah. He was amazing. Yeah, he was great. I didn't do anything. I would just come in and say the words. He, he, uh, uh, he was great collaborative process. Mr. Turner, I just want to say it's a real honor to have you here. Well, I'm glad you're honored. I am horrified, (laughs) right? When I left TBS, it was a premier entertainment destination. Now they hired some freckled rooster on stilts to destroy it. Yeah, he reminded me, I forgot that we rehearsed it. He had went out and hired somebody to give it a try and it didn't go that well in rehearsal. And then I, I think he had seen you in a sketch on SNL playing Zell Miller, and he thought, oh, you'd be great playing this kind of Southern oh. sassy guy. <laughs> that makes sense. We were so excited when you said yes, because we're like, oh, he's not going to. We just thought you'd be too busy no. to do it. So we were very excited. Was it the buffalo that convinced you? <laughs> it was that, that certainly had something to do with it. What are you people looking at? Never seen a man on a buffalo before. No, I was, if, if I remember correctly, the timeline this was in the period after, right after I had left SNL the first couple of years after that. And so I was, uh-huh. I didn't really have a lot going on. I was just hanging around, not really doing anything. You were so. just at Warner Brothers <laughs> wandering around. Yeah, yeah, yeah. Hey, Matt did a, you, you. Yeah. And then off and on again for uh, a couple of years. There's a compilation of you on all the times you did it. And it's like 45 minutes long. So you did it many, many times. Oh, really? Oh, my God. Yeah. <laughs> oh, man. I know I did it. I, I did it in a couple of different locations. I remember New York very specifically. Right. And I feel like I did it in Atlanta also. Right. Were you guys? Yes. Yeah. yeah. You were great. You flew in from L.A. to New York to do it at the Beacon Theater. That was the most fun. That that one was... That was exciting. People went nuts. People were going nuts over everything. Those audiences yes. for the entire shows were just like super energized from start to finish. Yeah. yeah. When we go to other cities, I think also as of our first time back in New York since um, he had stopped doing late night. So I think the New York crowd was kind of extra excited. Yeah. And then when you, you came down that long aisle on the... On the Buffalo. Yeah. The place went insane. And... You participated in the first gay wedding on ever done on television. Oh, I forgot wow. about that. So did I. Matt reminded me of that, too. I totally forgot about that. That's right. Okay, well, I'm happy about that. Yeah, Conan performed um, a wedding for our uh, costume designer, Scott. It was a real ceremony. Conan got, you, you know, became a, uh, oh, my God, there's ants crawling up the wall in my, oh, my wow, God, this, this is, is an animal-heavy <laughs> episode. A Salvador Dali <laughs> segue. Uh, Conan became an online minister officiated this wedding on the air and then they left the theater on your the back of your buffalo with you oh that's great oh okay i do remember that (laughs) yeah (laughs) they are now gonna ride off into the sunset with a little help from our good friend ted turner take it away ted i love that that's like oh right right what a fun experience that just every step of the way was always just you guys made it so easy for me. I mean, Matt Matt O'Brien, he he just was so good at writing those things. It was just always fun to come in, and and then I didn't have to be super. I, I get very nervous about stuff, so so th- this was one of the rare times I could come in and just be pretty relaxed and know I was going to have fun. Oh, good. Yeah, well, it's it's a fun person to do an impression of because it's not someone I think people. It doesn't have to be spot on. Yes. Like you can kind of just. Those are the only impersonations I know how to do. Non spot on. Because <laughs> no one really knows that much about it, what Ted Turner sounds right, like. So. Right. Not in a long time. Yes. You're in the area. In the Hey, did Ted, did you ever hear anything about like Ted Turner ever seen it and hmm. getting back to you in any way about never, it? Or? Never heard anything. No. <laughs> Once he sold TBS, he was like, I'm done with television. Well, TBS never really seemed to have any notes. I mean, I don't know if that was part of Conan's deal coming onto it, but there were never like network notes no none that right none that i ever heard 